problem that Ocarina was created to solve is the fact that storage growth is out of control. And if you look at disks getting bigger and disks getting cheaper, a lot of people might think that just that would help you keep up with it, but in fact, file sizes are getting bigger, and the way that people save and work with data is leading to more and more and more things being stored, and just the overall growth of storage has become unmanageable, both for corporations, for websites, for social networks, etc. And to be able to get on top of that growth, uh, we've come up with a strategy for optimizing storage and letting you store 10 times as much stuff on disks you already have. So what Ocarina has done is optimize online storage. And we view this as a natural progression of the data reduction landscape. If you think of, of the areas of storage, there's online storage, there's storage being transferred over networks, and there's storage being backed up. In the backup space, there's been wild successes using deduplication to do data reduction. Data domain would be a good example of that. In the WAN space, there's examples like Riverbed, where data reduction has been wildly successful. Nobody's attacked this core problem right in the middle of how we do data reduction for your real online files. And this is the problem that Ocarina is solving right here. So one of the things that people often don't realize about storage is that the files that you store have sort of a natural life cycle. And we talk about this in terms of the histogram of files. And so if you think of how many I.O. operations a second you do and the time that a file has lived, there's sort of a natural cycle here. And what happens is you create a file, you do lots of I.O.s to it, and then, over time, the amount of IOs done to that file go down. And so, it makes sense to have expensive storage over here, storing these files that are being really actively used. But today, most people st are still storing those files on the same expensive storage, even when they're not being used uh, very much at all. So we call this the histogram. And the opportunity for optimizing storage really exists over here in this part of the histogram where usage has gone down. Now the flip side is, where is the bulk of your storage? Well, if you look at total terabytes, that curve is the opposite. If you were to say, here is a week, probably most of your IOs are being done on files that are less than a week old. But for sure, 90% of all your files or in this giant puddle of data where they're over a week old. And so this is where the opportunity space rests, in finding that place in the histogram where for a given customer or a given use case or a given market, the I.O. starts to drop on the histogram and still the bulk of your storage lives in that space. 